T-minus 60. We're at T-minus one minute and counting. Range is green. LC, T-minus 60 second limits on. On. Water flow. Ranges go, weather go. LC, launch enable of flight. Flight. ATC-3, main power disable, on. On. 100% LUX. 35. Hydraulics are go. 30. T-minus 30, 30 seconds. Go Delta. Go SMAP. Twenty. T minus fifteen seconds. Green board. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine start and lift off of the Delta II rocket with SMAP, making global observations of soil moisture for climate forecasting. Chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both vernier engines. Good chamber pressure on all three solids. 27 seconds into the flight. Coming up 46 seconds, still looking good. 50 seconds in, Max Q. Vehicle uh, now having maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. 57 seconds. Chamber pressure beginning to decline on the solids, as expected. And we have burnout of the solids. We'll be holding on to those solids for about 30 more seconds to assure a safe water impact point. One minute, 12 seconds into the flight. Still looking good. One minute, 25 seconds, chamber pressure holding in the main engine and in both verniers. One minute, 30 seconds. Standing by for separation. And we have separation of the solid rocket motors. The uh, Delta II vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch, expelling propellant at the rate of 799 pounds per second. One minute, 55 seconds in. Two minutes, five seconds in. Chamber pressure continuing to hold on the main engine and on both verniers. Two minutes, 17 seconds in. Good engine control in the first stage. Very little engine corrections are needed in uh, either the main engine or both verniers. Passing two minutes, 30 seconds. Vehicle continuing to accelerate. Passing a Mach 5, vehicle going in excess of uh, five times the speed of sound at two minutes, 55 seconds in. Coming up on the three minute mark. Mark, three minutes into the flight, chamber pressure continues to hold very well in the first stage on the main engine and on both verniers. About one minute and 10 seconds left in um, first stage flight. Three minutes, 20 seconds in. Still looking good. Engine and uh, chamber pressure and vernier chamber pressures continues to hold. Passing uh, three minutes, 38 seconds into the flight. Engine control continues to look good in the first stage. A little engine movement necessary. Very good ride. Passing three minutes, 50 seconds. 
Three minutes, 58 seconds into the flight. This is the area where we reach a uh, maximum skin temperature. And we have about 20 seconds uh, remaining until main engine cutoff. Four minutes, 15 seconds in, still looking good. Same by for cutoff. And we have main engine cutoff. Standing by for vernier cutoff. And we have vernier cutoff. Standing by for stage sep, and we have stage separation. And standing by for ignition of the second stage. And second stage chamber pressure is increasing. Good chamber pressure on the second stage, a good steady burn. Standing by for the fairing jettison, scheduled just a few seconds from now. And we have fairing jettison. Flight events occurring close to their anticipated time. We're passing five minutes and seven seconds into the flight. Second stage burn continues to look good. Chamber pressure holding rock solid. Good engine control on the second stage. This uh, first burn of the second stage is expected to last about uh, six minutes and eight seconds. Five minutes, 44 seconds into the flight, about uh, four minutes, 57 seconds remaining in this first burn of the second stage. We're passing uh, six minutes, eight seconds into the flight. Everything appears to be looking good. Four minutes, uh, 25 seconds remaining in this first burn. We will have uh, four second stage engine burns, two prior to the deployment of our first spacecraft, uh, SMAP, the major payload for the mission, and one uh, short burn uh, prior to deployment of our two, our correction, three uh, PICO satellites. Six minutes, 40 seconds in. Coming up on the seven minute mark, mark seven minutes into the flight, still looking good. Upper stage engine control is excellent. Good chamber pressure, very stable in the first, in the second stage. Very shortly we'll be commanding the uh, command receiver decoders off. We're about three and a half minutes away from going into our coast phase after the second stage shuts off. Over three minutes remaining on this first burn. And we have acquisition of signal through Tedris. Eight minutes into the flight now, all continuing to look good. Chamber pressure continuing to hold very good in the second stage. Second stage engine control also good at this time. Eight minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, still looking good. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the first burn. Now eight minutes, 44 seconds in, under two minutes remaining in this first burn. Trajectory uh, seems, seems to be going exactly on track. 
One minute, 50 seconds remaining in the burn. Burn continues to look stable. Chamber pressure is good. One minute, 30 seconds remaining on the burn as we're approaching nine minutes and 20 seconds mark into the flight. Second stage will cut off 10 minutes, 43 seconds into the mission. For a coast phase, 40 minutes, 54 seconds in duration. Delta flight commentary now at uh, 9 minutes, 44 seconds, one minute remaining in the burn. Mission events occurring fairly close to their expected times. 44 seconds remaining in the burn. Now 30 seconds remaining in this first burn, and we're standing by. Chamber pressure expected to, to decline very slightly, as it is, it is doing. About 15 seconds remaining on the burn. We're standing by now for SECO-1, the first uh, shutdown of the second stage. And we have shutdown. SECO-1 has occurred. 